Now, we're gonna go to this next barn. You got more pickup trucks in here. Okay, guys, hey, we got two Hummers in here. We're gonna do this first one here, yellowish color. Yes, it's gotten dark outside, but at least we have some light. This H2. And this is nice. Never would have thought I'd find a Hummer here at Country Classic Cars, but hey, let's take a look at it. Right now, I feel like Steve Ronan walking through some type of vintage abandoned home. <laughs> Finding a vintage car. These Hummers are big, man. It's a nice size vehicle. I rode it one years ago. I always thought that these were just like the best ever. Set up so high. And there's some decent rims on here, man. Those are aftermarkets. That one's missing a, the hub. But yeah. Yeah, it's starting to rain pretty good outside. Yeah, both the front rims are missing the hubs. But, wow, ah, this one's missing the hub too. I do believe there's deterioration of the paint. Something happened. But it could always be fixed. It's really nice in here. Nice and clean. It's two of them, so we're gonna look at the next one. So you hear all the noise, that's the rain hitting the roof. But this second Hummer is real nice. Got your factory rims. Clean like the yellow one. Hummer was a big vehicle. General Motors came up with a good idea when they made these things for the general public because these were once military. The Humvee. Then they went from the Humvee to the Hummer. And I think it was two or three different sizes. I still see the small ones out on the street. This one comes with the spare tire on the back. That's nice. In case you were wondering, you see the price, 19000 for this thing. Hmm. Let me go back real quick and get the other one because I didn't get the price for it. At least you got the information right here. I don't see a price on it.
But you can always call Country Classic Cars to get a price on this Hummer. At least you got the information now. Let's get back to this one. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Up, oh, bit of wear and tear. You can have that fixed. You can fix anything these days, make it look brand new. Today's technology. So the console. Huh. Yeah. If you notice know the screen, there's probably a camera in the back. So when you're backing up, you don't go killing some kid in this big old vehicle. <laughs> This is a nice find right here. Back seats look like nobody ever sat in them. Cargo space. Really, really nice. All right, guys, let's see what else we can find. Okay, guys, we got ourselves a 1990 Chevy pickup 4x4. It's a nice one. We do the passenger side. Nice body. And guess what? Comes with a toolbox. Bumper seems to be in good condition. It has a, yep, it's been sprayed in liner. Looked like they did, yeah, they did. Basically the inside, but the tailgate didn't get done. You know, but you can always put something on the tailgate and you have a full toolbox, full size toolbox. Got your rear window for those hot summer days like I had. In fact, I gotta put one on my Dodge. I got that Ram and I wanna get that converted. And get me a nice rear window installed in that thing. As we go into this passenger side, bench seat. It smells great in here. It really does. This dashboard is in excellent condition. There's your gear shifter for the 4x4. That makes me wish I still had my <laughs> my pickup truck. Man, I miss it. That Chevy truck I had. Nice door liner. Solid. The buyer's guide is right here. You guys see it's a 1990 as is. It's in great condition. Here's something. You gotta get yourself a new antenna. And when you come here, bring yourself some windshield wipers if you're interested in this truck. <laughs> here, since we're here, we'll look at the information. You guys see the price. Nice hood. Everything with the grill is in order. Front bumper. Only thing you don't have is side steps or running boards with this truck. You can always add that on if you were to buy it. The fuel door is right there. I don't see any dual exhaust pipes. You got your Chevy's uh, bow tie right there. Yeah, this truck is making me wish I had my 92 back. Well, they redid these liners. This is so nice. 
here on this driver's side. Hey, that's something I didn't have was an armrest on my 92. This is nice. That's nice to have. Comfort. Steering wheel got a, a wrap on it. Top speed, 80 miles per hour. As long as you had a decent truck to drive, did you care if it was 80 miles per hour? Yeah, that rain is really coming down. But at least we found a really nice truck to enjoy. Let's move on to the next one. Hey guys, they happen to have some really nice Suburbans sitting back here. I'm gonna try to do these real fast because the way this weather is, I may have to get up out of here. But I will come back to do the insides. So I'll get you some prices and a quick look on some of these Suburbans. There you go. We'll take a quick look at this one. So if you're ever in the need of a family vehicle and kind of stylish, if you think this is a good price for you to negotiate on, Come on down to Country Classic Cars. Just sitting here. Tight spot right there. But you got this old Ford sitting here. <laughs> and then you have more of a old school style looking paint job on this thing. It's flat. Pink job here. Let's see. So the body, <laughs> rhino line paint. Okay. It's the first time I've ever seen a rhino liner. So they sprayed this whole thing down and then painted over it. <laughs> okay. Has that rough feel, but I don't know. How it's gonna look when you wash it? Probably look a lot better. Interesting. This is those survival type vehicles. All apocalyptic type of vehicle. A luggage rack. No lights on top. But evidently, got a little problem because it's gonna leak something down on the floor. Or maybe there was another vehicle. When we come back, I'll do videos on these.